Hey everybody, how's it going? I just thought I'd do a quick update video on the skull cleaning and the maceration process. Oh, but first, if you wonder what happens to all the blueberries, ah, right here they are. <laughs> she gets all the blueberries. All right, back to the back to the video here. Yeah, I had a couple questions about the maceration and stuff, and a couple comments about guys saying they do it a different way whatever and this the only the second time second different way i've done this i've done i've boiled one before and i had like uh very poor results i guess i didn't put enough effort into it and cleaning it and stuff but pretty much i stuck these in a bucket well, all five of these in a bucket last trapping season then they froze solid and then this spring i just basically forgot about slash ignored them and they literally sat in those buckets for a few months yeah probably my wife yelled a month <laughs> probably several months they just sat in there and then i just figured it's time to open them up and see what it is and yes the smell was bad but yes every little nook and cranny was completely flesh free almost the only places i had to clean out on all the skulls pretty much there's a little tiny hole here on each side of the skulls i had to poke some stuff out there and some of the bigger canine jaws like this coyote jaw right here uh on the side here there's a hole i guess it's probably some type of nerve probably to go down for all the nerves of the teeth or something i had to dig some stuff out of there that was it everything else was completely completely gone all the all the nasal like cartilage or whatever that is the old factory senses and the coyote and everything that's still there i guess that's what we're battling against the coyote nose and the teeth they're either all out or they're completely loose all everything everything's gone it was pretty cool so would i do this method again absolutely uh if <laughs> It might I might have made it look like it more, was more work than what it was and yes the smell was bad but they're pretty the smell is pretty much dissipated now I if I was gonna do it again or I probably will do this again but I'll probably give them like two different baths in the uh, in the peroxide in the uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid maybe that might help out but the smell there's hardly any smell left on them at all if you get right up to it and smell it yeah this is the coyote this is the only one that shows any type of maybe slight tooth decay. This was a big old male. I, so, and I got all the things separated here, but basically I got a bunch of 3D skull puzzles to put together. And I enjoy putting together puzzles, so I just got to keep everything separate. And yeah, like all the teeth, just figure out where all they all go. It'll be cool putting them back together, really. And then we're going to dip them in paint this one is the only one that turned out sort of brown i may have forgot to put any peroxide in this one because all the rest of them are if you look at the rest of them they're fairly white looking and the teeth are like the teeth are shiny white everything's gone off the teeth they're pretty much spotless so it works well but you just you do have to deal with the smell for a day or two so all right, thanks again for tuning in. Hope everybody has a blessed day. It's been a beautiful summer. And there's my wife saying goodbye and still munching the blueberries. I'll have to go pick her some more after she eats that giant bull. See, check this out. That bull was full when she started. No, that's a Don't little exaggeration. Don't be telling them that. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great day.